Ken obviously still a loss, but does that one feel a little bit different than the last two? Yeah, I like the way we competed against a really good team. And, uh, proud of the guys that I think we just played better basketball in a lot of different areas. So it's hard to lose. It gets old. Uh, that's what I feel for them. But we played, uh, we played better than we have. We're learning how to play without Devontae, and I thought tonight was our best effort. How do you keep your kids from getting frustrated when they play better and still lose the game? Well, unfortunately, I've had practice at it from last year. Uh, we lost our share of games last year, and yet we had a group of guys that stayed together and just kept uh, working every day and playing as a team. And somehow at the end of the year, we beat UCLA, which was uh, the best team in our league at that time. And then a couple days later, beat USC, and then went to the Pac-12 tournament, got beaten in a very close game by Washington. But it's hard to do. Uh, fortunately, we have a, a high level of character kids in the program, and, and that really, really helps in this situation. What do you think made the difference in overtime? I don't really know. At this point, I, I don't really know. Uh, I know they did a good job of making three throws tonight. And uh, for 45 minutes, to score 26 from the line was pretty impressive. I think that hurt us. Did, did you feel that the free throw disparity was just because of what Colorado was doing? or? Oh, they were definitely attacking more than we were. You know, we were shooting threes more than they. And, and uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, they should have got to the line more than us. 38 to 3. That's quite a few times. Towards the end there, they started to get a lot of offensive rebounds. Were, were your guys just gassed? Were they doing something different? Yeah, I different? think, you know, uh, I, really, I really went with certain guys down the stretch and uh, wanted to go with our strength. We had a few timeouts. Figured they might call a timeout. Uh, we had a media timeout. So I think both teams were pretty fatigued. There were a couple of plays where, where uh, they were more aggressive and they capitalized on it. But a couple times they did it, and we were able to attack them during that time and convert. So, at the end of the day, the better team won the game. They're, they're a better ball club than us, and they got us. But I think we got better tonight. You scored only two points fewer than you did all of last week. Were there any major I'm offensive? Sorry, what's the, state again? Uh, the team scored 70 points tonight. It scored 72 points in two games last week. What, what was different on offense? Again, I think, I think uh, learning how to play without Devonte and just executing the fact that Royce uh, did an outstanding job of finding people. And not just him. Early in the game, I remember one time DJ had the ball at the wing and could have shot it. He said he made the extra pass to, to, uh, to Dexter in the corner. And just doing a better job of sharing the ball for open shots was really helpful tonight. How do you bottle up what you did tonight and make sure there's carryover going forward with the way you guys play? Well, we'll take a day off and get off the road. We've been on the road for eight or nine days. And just get back to our practice facility, regroup. And with these type of guys, we'll, uh, we'll get better in the next couple of days and play a good Utah team. Ken, could you see improvement in your team throughout the week preparing for this game? Or did you just see it in this game in the 40 minute or 45 minutes? It's a great question. Uh, and one of the assistant coaches brought that up after the game that uh, we got better the last few days just being here in Spokane. Uh, we, we arrived here Sunday night after the Arizona State game, and the next day we actually had two practices. Uh, went to Spokane Community College and, and watched video and worked on defense, and then went back to the hotel. And later that evening we came over here and, and worked on some offensive stuff. And I think, uh, and watched a lot of video that night here in, uh, in the arena. So I think the last few days, we got a little bit better even prior to the game. That just carried over into the game. The team's only been shooting about 30% from three, but tonight you had five guys hit two or more. Does, is it just hard to get everything else working on offense when everyone's cold from the outside? It is. You know, and that's probably uh, my fault as a coach. Over the years, we've, uh, we've, the way I've coached philosophically, we've done a lot based off of getting threes. And maybe at times to a fault. Fortunately, over the years, I've been blessed with having some really good shooters. Uh, right now, we have not proven 
up to the night that we're shooting the ball well. But I still believe like that Royce can make shots. He did it last year. I believe that uh, the DJ is a better shooter than he has shown. Hugh Johnson, uh, he, he at times can really shoot it. Dexter has not been shooting real well, but he made shots tonight. So I think we've got some guys that can make shots. Fortunately, tonight we made them, and I'm hoping that that, that uh, carries over and gives us confidence into the next few games.